but did you feel protected though and did you feel safe i i did i i feel i didn't feel nervous at all i wasn't scared you know besides the fact of being with an armed guard and having soldiers on our bus you know i really i didn't feel nervous or in danger whatsoever mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and that was great you know i i don't feel like you should believe everything that you hear i mean yeah there's constant war going on but not everywhere Mm -hmm. You know, there's it's it's a safe place. It is. Mm -hmm. You know, you shouldn't mm -hmm. let anything stop you from going there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, what was your like really your favorite time there, your favorite place and in, in time on the ten day trip? I would say En Gedi in the Bedouin tents. That was my favorite time. It was so tranquil, and just being able to overlook the mountains and everything there, and riding my first camel and everything. That that was probably my favorite favorite part of the trip. Wow. We went when we slept there. I didn't sleep. I was too excited for the next day. <laughs> but that was the funny thing. We didn't sleep at all on the trip. Well, let's actually yeah. let's take a <laughs> let's see about this donkey that you rode. Can we get one of those a picture of David and the donkey up? I'd like to see your your, your donkey. Yeah. Let's see that eventually they'll get it up there. Yeah, there you go. And there's Ashley. The, oh, there's <laughs> Ashley. Ashley Wallenstein. There's yeah. me in the back. Another one of our congregants. Yep. You guys are like real buds, right? Yeah. That's great. We got even closer on the trip. It was nice. That's great. Yeah. Um, you going to different schools or the same? Oh, yeah. You go to different schools, right? Mm-hmm. It's me riding, me chasing a donkey. It's the one that got away. Oh, I'm donkey. in the front there running after him. <laughs> and who's the one behind? Uh, his friend Jordan. Jordan. Okay. Yeah. And uh, do we have a street musician in the city now? A little contrast? Take a look at the... Oh, there we go. Yeah. That's not really the city. No, nah, it was the outskirts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, people were dancing and enjoying their time. That's nice. And now uh, you're a group with uh, 40 people. Let's have a look at David and his group. I would li like to see that shot there. Whenever they bring it on, it's fine. Now, oh, there you are. That's okay. <laughs> now, um, now, the way it works, from what I understand, is that there's groups that are touring, uh, you know, around the country, many, many groups. Yes. And, you know, they're all kind of crisscrossing in, in southwest, east, w you know, north and south in uh, every different way. But um, at the end, they have this mega event mm -hmm. where you all meet up. Yeah. Tell us about it. It was... Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't know what the mega event was when I first heard about it. I heard that we were, it was like a big party and everybody, you know, is going to be dancing. And I thought it was a big club or something. And we go there and, you know, there was they were singing. You know, they were singing the anthem. The prime minister was there. Wow. And, yeah, constant, it, was, it was televised, too. And it was just amazing because when they were singing the anthem and everything, you know, you look to your left, you look to your right, and the soldiers that are there are completely at a standstill. And you look at the girls, and they have tears running down their faces just because they are so proud of Israel mm -hmm. and their home. Yeah. And, you know, you don't, you, you'll never feel the same connection as they do because, the, you know, they live there every day. But just by seeing them, you feel, you feel something, mm -hmm. you know. And I really like that. You they know, probably feel something seeing you guys. Yeah. You know, so, so they many were people. so happy that we came. You know, they encourage everyone to come and see how beautiful of a place it is. Because wow. it's everyone's home. You know? what, what, are, what are Israel's main accomplishments from, your, your, from what you have observed? Their, their biggest accomplishment is still being there today. You know, when they first signed to be a, a state, and till today they have been through so much you know, people trying to put them down, and right. they are still surviving today. And right. their economy is constantly growing. You know, it's rising like 6% each year or something. I don't know the actual number, mm -hmm. but they are constantly growing. And it's, it's amazing how much their things are still going on there. And to think of what kind of future they're going to have, it's, it's going to be amazing. Why do you think that there's a lot of energy there, right? A lot of people really uh, want to do, uh, they're very motivated mm -hmm. uh, population, a lot of good brain power there, a lot of uh, uh, new patents, new inventions, new scientific advances, um, new medicine, mm -hmm. a, lot, a lot of uh, cool stuff. Uh, a lot of culture there also, isn't there? Mm -hmm. um, a music, you heard a lot of music? Yeah. 
Yeah, and like a lot of like rap type music, but also like you know strings and everything. Any reggae? So, yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's just kind of big on the reggae. Thing. Yeah, yeah. That's great. So mm -hmm. there was on this mega event there were seven thousand yeah. people your age. Biggest turnout. Boys and girls. Biggest turnout they've ever had. That's that's what was told. And just look, they even had, um, there was a soldier that couldn't be there physically, so they surprised him, and it's funny, because we were watching on the monitor, you know, the guy was sad because he couldn't come, so they flew him from with a helicopter, and we're seeing mm. it on the monitor, and then all of a sudden we look up, and there the helicopter is actually flying overhead, and they land, and they brought the guy there. Wow. And I can't believe they did that for him, but they just wanted everybody to experience this. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah. Great music, great, loved it. And uh, how long did the um, this mega event last? And you know, like, what were the events of the evening? This was the conclude, the final concluding. You know, yeah, thing. we're basically just watching, you know, people perform. You know, a bunch mm -hmm. of musicians, and we heard the prime minister speak for a little while, and he was pumping everybody up. You know, get yeah. your, you know, get your friends to come here. You know, look, see what an amazing place this is. What a beautiful place this is. All right, now you yeah. got a few seconds. T tell you know young people that haven't been on this trip. T what do you want to tell them? You know, I want to say you have to go here. You have to come to Israel. It will be the most amazing experience you ever have. You know, you don't. It's it's something you cannot even put into words. It's everyone will feel something when they go there. It has something for everyone, from the city life to scenery to history, everything is available and you have to go. That's my biggest recommendation for you. Just go for any time of your life. Just make sure you go there. You heard it from David Goldstein on Rabbi Rock TV. Thank you. It's great having you here. And uh, you know, I hope you have uh, lots of um, enjoyable times in Israel in, you know, in the near future as well. Thank you. Shalom. Shalom. Yeah, Habibi.